Hi, Sister Sunshine. I'm Aniki Nippon. This is a response to your video about executions and Justice Scalia. Now, do you think you should be able to be charged with a crime that isn't written? There is no law for something. Do you feel that you should be able to be prosecuted for a crime that you didn't know ever existed, isn't in, on the books or anywhere else? I would have to say you probably don't want that to happen. If there's not a law against it, why should you, why should you be charged with that crime? The legislature's job is to create laws. The state legislature, you know, the federal government, so on. That's their job. They make laws. They make, make laws that coincide with their views based on a democratic gov government that we have, based on consensus. The Supreme Court justice's job is not to change what's popular. The constitutional law is not a popularity contest. It's not to say that uh, we're going to change our opinion just because a lot of people don't agree with this proposition. Their job is to maintain what the constitutional law says and what it means. Plain and simple. Justice Scalia's position as an originalist, not as a person that believes the constitution is a living document, has said on many occasions the reason he supports the death penalty is because, well, shoot, the constitution itself mentions the death penalty. How can we say it's unconstitutional? That would be, that would be like erasing a certain part of the, uh, erasing a certain part of the Bible that you don't want in just because it says it. It, it just doesn't make sense. If it's written, doesn't make doesn't make it a valid for a moral or ethical argument. I'm I have no doubts there. But again, Justice Scalia, all he's really saying is, well. Um, abortion rights are not a matter of the Supreme Court uh, to decide because, well, the Constitution doesn't even mention uh, abortion rights and they never had it in mind to consider abortion rights or gay marriage or anything like that. And that's his position. It has nothing to do with whether or not he personally believes on certain Catholic, you know, uh, positions of his. He says, there's law, and then there's what I believe as a Catholic. You know, they're entirely separate as issues. So, anyways, I hope this sheds some light on why Justice Scalia says what he says. You should research some of, uh, some of his opinions. You should watch some of his interviews. I'll actually post one for you. And I hope everybody else that's watching this video views it too, because it's very informative, and it makes clear what his position is as a originalist and not an activist judge by changing these constitution constitutional amend, amendments the way they see fit just because of the political times so anyways give me a thumbs up and please subscribe if you enjoyed this video